What up, what up world, it's your homeboy Wordplay TJ and I'm back with another video for you. This time around I'm going to show you how to pitch your music to playlists for Amazon for Artists. Stay tuned. Alright, if this is your first time here, my name is Wordplay TJ. I'm a hip-hop artist and producer from Little Rock, Arkansas. And what I do is make music for the underdog. I want to make sure that every single independent musician that uh, is making music along their, their, their path and their journey is having a good time. And so as I move along my, my journey and, and my path, I want to make sure that you have the tips and tricks that I learn along the way. And then I use this channel to share them with you. And so... Let's make sure that we can uh, work together and, and go ahead and do So let's jump into Amazon Music for Artists. Um, this is a platform that I, I um, this is a platform that I introduced a couple years ago. And this is a platform that I introduced last year um, and it came out it was, you know, not in its beta form. It's pretty early on in the in the rollout. But uh, Amazon Music for Artists is available for every artist in order to see their analytics and see what they need to do in order to make their music better. So let's jump into how you can actually pitch your music to playlists, and then I'll show you how to make sure that you're connected here at the end of this video. Number one, Amazon Music for Artists now allows you to pitch your music to playlists for every new release. And so I'll explain what that means here in a second. Just kind of diving in to how it works. Uh, that's what's really, really important right here. So how does it work, right? It's kind of a curious process. Uh, you know, will I get heard right away or do I need to wait or all these other things? So I'm going to break down how it works. Let's uh, look at my screen here. So first you want to open up Amazon Music for Artists on your uh, phone and select new releases. Then you want to choose a track. So these tracks have some eligibility requirements and so I'll, I'll go over and explain what is eligible and what is not eligible according to this. I'll start with what's not eligible. So more than one track per release is not eligible, so you can't do a full album. Multiple versions of the same song, you can't do that. Re-releases of previously released stuff, so remasters and, and that type of thing, you can't do that. Or if it's more than 15 days old. And so if, if you have uh, older music, you can't really take advantage of this uh, opportunity. What is eligible is new music, right? So it's less than 14 days old. One track per release. So you just pick a single from an album and pick wisely. Uh, I suggest that when you're picking, make sure you pick what the people's favorite is, not your favorite. And then deliver it to Amazon Music with streaming. And so the way that happens is you work with your distributor, whether it be CD Baby, TuneCore, um, DistroKid, whoever it is, it doesn't matter. Make sure that you're delivering it to Amazon as a streaming service. So those are the eligibility requirements. Let's get into the other couple of steps in this process. What's required when you're pitching the music is that you tell them why your listeners will love the song, how you plan to promote it, right? So it's important to just kind of talk about your strategy and talk about the story behind the song. Also, pick um, some genres for the song. Be realistic, right? Make sure that they match things that, that are actually out there. And then, does your song include some lyrics? They want to know whether or not it's a, a song with lyrics or is, if it's an instrumental. There's also some optional requirements. And I say when things are optional, it's probably best to give them more information. Um, so I don't really see these as optional. I just say do it anyway. So which artist would, your, would you name drop when describing the sound of this song, right? So pick some popular people, if it's J. Cole, if it's Kendrick, if it's Future, or whoever it is. Make sure that you make that connection. Where's your biggest fan base today? You have to know your data. So look at Spotify for Artists, look at Apple Music for Artists and other places and see where your fans live. And then what's the song's vibe? Is it dark? Is it romantic? Is it mellow? And then how would you categorize the track, right? Is it chill? Is it, what, what, what are people going to be using it for? 
um, do they work out to your music, right? Just make sure you know how people are going to be utilizing your songs. So the last thing I want to do here in this video is show you how to connect uh, Amazon Music for Artists. And I have it pulled up on my phone here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and, and, and dive into this. Let me change my display here. All right, so we got the side-by-side -side view. Um, shout out to, to OBS for, for having this capability. Um, so I'm going to click here, Amazon Music for Artists. I already have it installed. As you can see, it's myself. DJ Centipede is, in, is here. Shout out to DJ Centipede. And what I want to do is search for an artist that's not connected. So maybe uh, Angelia. So I'm going to search for her. And uh -uh. it's not coming up, but I'm going to click claim an artist and then search again. Because I know she's in here. There she is. So I'll click here and I'll click claim. And because I she's a part of the record label, I'll put it on the map music group. I'll select the role as label. Um, there's some verification steps here. So you can claim verification with information such as uh, social accounts. So I could connect with a social account or I could connect via distributor, which is a lot faster. So I'm just going to connect via DistroKid. All right, so now that DistroKid is connected, it's checked there. And then I hit submit. So claim is pending here, right? And that's fine. It's going to take a little bit of time to, to get connected. Um, I don't need to learn more. I can claim another artist or I can just kind of back out. As you can see here, I have my account here. So I'm going to click on my account. There's not a lot of movement on Amazon Music. And I'm just not like pushing it that much. But I am on some playlists, some user playlists. Uh, I'm not on any user playlist, but I am on some type of playlist. At 33%. Curious. Maybe it's Tony Robbins that's on there. Nobody's searching via voice. Should I go through some of this? Let's go through it. So here's the overview, right? You can see the total streams, total listeners, uh, albums, and top songs. Um, nobody's really listening through this platform. Most of my listens come from like Spotify and Pandora. Uh, maybe Apple Music as well. Fans, seven. So it's not that much activity. Uh, voice, this is how often people search for you on Alexa. Um, and right now there's not a lot of that. I'm a little concerned about that. When I tested that in the past, um, Alexa had a hard time following, finding me. So maybe it can find me a little bit better now. And then there's programming. So featured in playlist. Um, so there was something featured in a playlist at some point in time, but maybe not now. So that's it. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. I appreciate you watching this video. And until next time, it's your homeboy Wordplay TJ. Peace. Tell me what they know about me. I've been hearing whispers, but they so far away. You can tell they at a distance. So off base, I can really dismiss them. Huh? Why they think they got permission? I don't get it, huh? No. Talking about our business like they running things. David to these buses like it's fun and games Throwing all the stones then they run away It's my own pet peeve when they conversate